The show presented by Hyundai with Lock and Wiley. Mark Slareth is back. We're joined now by Fox NFL analyst TJ Hushman's out of time now for a big story. Sponsored by KFC's $20 fill-up. Order ahead or get it delivered at KFC.com. All right, let's return to Miles Garrett, who, according to ESPN, has accused Mason Rudolph of using a racial slur that allegedly triggered the brawl at last week's Brown Steelers game. Garrett has addressed the fight multiple times in the media without ever mentioning the slur until he reportedly brought it up as part of his appeals hearing in New York yesterday. Today, the NFL upheld Garrett's suspension while reducing Marquise Pouncey's suspension mm. by one game. All right, uh, I, this is a pretty <laughs> obvious question. <laughs> Have you lost any respect for Miles Garrett? This is what they work on in <laughs> football all the time. Chemistry, when you just know what I'm going to do. No, I have not lost any respect for Miles Garrett. Um, and I don't know why I should. Uh, based he's on taking a coward way out. Based on what we're talking about here. Look, swinging a helmet at someone is obviously something that makes you lose respect because we all try to go home to our families at the end of the day. I don't give a damn how good I am, how sorry you are, how I can run up the score. Go home. I go home. I lost respect then. I have not lost more respect now. And I tell you why. Everyone out there is running with this claim. You, we've never seen anyone in the NFL ever do such a thing and use their helmet as a weapon and hit somebody like that. Outside of Antonio Smith, Richie, Incognito, kind of. Well, actually, LeVar did with a player for the Washington Redskins, but we'll get into that yeah, later in yeah. the practice. We'll so go ahead. We, we, this is what? We've never seen this. But you know what you haven't seen? A guy charge after somebody when he doesn't have his helmet. Like, every single player I know, something triggers in our head. Oh, I'm at a disadvantage. Peace treaty. We'll, de we'll deal with this another time. I'll be back. We play you guys again in a few weeks. So we have to keep this in perspective. Why would I lose respect for Miles Garrett, who is basically saying things that either I can prove in evidence of watching the actual play, or some things that I just have to chalk up to. I wasn't there. Like at the Hold bottom on, of that power. Miles Garrett charge, other than the racial slur, what else have you heard him charge? Has, has he charged? said, I got kicked in the groins? Has he said I, I, that? I don't need Miles Garrett to do that. OK, well, let's don't say uh, Miles no, no. Garrett said that. Well, no, right. Miles Garrett is saying, look, there was provocation in this situation. Yeah, he said the racial slur. Yep. Yeah. He has That's not said, he has not. That's as far part as of I it. know, he has not said, I was kicked, I was this or that. Now, maybe he did in those meetings, but I haven't, I'm not, I don't know I'm that. saying what the evidence shows me, gotcha. Miles Garrett has no contradictions to that. Mason Rudolph does. Yeah, I, I have lost respect in that, one, I'm a believer that we're in this thing together as players. And, yeah, I'm, if I get a chance to get a kill shot on you, am I going to take it? You're doggone right. Mm -hmm. And I would expect you to do the same. If we throw an interception, Marcellus, and I'm going to chase it, and I've been holding you the whole game, I expect to get one square right here. Yeah. I just do. I mean, that's the game I grew up in, and so I have a lot of respect for that. But when it comes to something that's so over the line, was something that has malicious intent, I, that, is, that is a cause for me to lose respect for you as a man. Let, let me, let yeah, me yeah. add this. Okay. Okay. Your that's why right. There have been two kill shots taken now. That, that, let's remember. The helmet was the first one, and now this one here dirties this man's reputation to a point he could be damaged. So there's been two, there's been two kill shots trying to damage someone, and both have been taken at Mason Rudolph. No, I, have I lost respect for him? No. The, the helmet thing made me lose respect because you could have really hurt him. You, you dodged a bullet with, with that part of it. How I look at it is I would have preferred, whether Mason Rudolph said this or not, I would have preferred for Miles Garrett to, even in his appeal, say he says some things that he, he knows he said, and... That's why I reacted the way I did. I'm not going to get into it. And it's no justification for what I did. And when I see him, we'll be able to talk that out. I've already apologized to him. I hope he would do the same. That's what I would prefer. But, TJ, he said that exact same thing after the game. He said, there's some things said. I'm going to leave that out of here. But then he went to the closed setting and said exactly what those things were. What's wrong with that? I, I, don't, I don't see the problem. I just don't, I don't want it to... Oh, he said a racial slur so it can justify everything that I did. Now... If you say that to me, if I take the helmet off, I'm probably going to choke you at the bottom of the... Like, I'm going to... I'm not letting you get up. Mm -hmm. He did. That, that, that's okay. Losing respect is when you could literally send this man to the hospital and possibly hurt him by hitting him with the crown of the helmet. That's the part where you say, we're in this together. I want to win, and I'll try to hurt you, but I'm not trying to hurt you to the point where 
it damages your career and possibly your life. I'm not trying to do that. And now, based off an allegation that we'll never be able to prove, it's a he said, she said. Right. Uh, Mason Rudolph is going to pay a price for this. The first one, he tried to hit him over the head with a helmet, which could have hurt him really significantly. Now he's going to pay a price. We know how social media works. We know how the Internet works. We know how fans operate. Whether Mason Rudolph said it or not, this guy's going to be stained with saying he he a racial slur against uh, Miles Garrett. There's no proof of it. There's just an accusation. We've seen false allegations like this before. I've covered this as a journalist. I, I, I can sit here and name names. North Carolina player uh, playing Utah, going with the stereotype. This is a, a University of North Carolina player. Not gonna go into, I can name the name of the guy in Northern Illinois if I wanted to smear this person. I don't. I don't have an interest in that because I'm not trying to damage people. Miles Garrett is trying to damage Mason Rudolph. They had a little on-field scrap that Miles Garrett took too far. Period. If Miles Garrett never swings that helmet, no one ever gets suspended. None of this ever happens. Now that it has happened, based off his actions, now we have this and a second attempt to hurt this kid, Mason Rudolph. I don't believe it. I've lost respect for Miles Garrett. I've, I, I know the profile of the Miles Garrett, the goofball that wants to be tough, and that's why he's had all these problems all season. He's, try, he's been penalized for dirty hits. He's had a terrible year in terms of penalties, in terms of his reputation. And on the way out the door, let me try to take Mason Rudolph down instead of just owning it. So I agree Mason with Rudolph did say it because of all that you said about Miles Garrett. You're saying he should just... If Mason... Take, Oh, no, 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 let, 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 TJ, I, I operate in a world as an adult and even as a young person. I don't care what somebody calls me. I don't care. It's not going to provoke me to come out of character. But you're testifying for Miles Garrett right now. Who said, who said in the moment that he stated facts to him, these are my stated facts, and I'm only going to state the facts that I can prove or I'm going to state the matter of facts and then that's what I was going under in my emotional state. The court of public opinion has largely married what Mason Rudolph is selling, which is basically all of this occurred to me, and I was trying to protect myself. Mason Rudolph's not selling but, it, but, Marcellus. Ma the, the referees, the They NFL. didn't even call a flag on the play. They did throw they, a flag. They did not call a flag for that hit. They caught a flag for when he was pulling the helmet off. And what Mason... And then he swung at him. I but, get but, it. They threw the flag. But, but Mason, Mason Rudolph isn't selling anything. But he reacted Bush to what Bush League happened. and cowardly? Hold it on. Was. From what point, Mason? Uh, well, if you get off your scripted... That's the same statement. sales job that uh, Miles Garrett's he didn't, teammate... He said he didn't escalate That's it. the same sales job that Baker Mayfield also had after the game. And Freddie Kitchens had after the game. And most people had after the game. It's no, TJ, where I really agree with you is, let's say it did happen. Mm -hmm. To me, you got to be man enough a week later to say, you know what? If I hadn't swung the helmet, I'd still be in the league. And so I'm going to swallow and eat all of this. He, no, I'm, he already I'm gave his see, apology. I'm going to see Mason Rudolph again, hopefully. He I'm going to get back in the league. The, the Cleveland Browns are going to see Mason Rudolph again. If, and so there's a, to me, there's a manly way to handle it. This is not... This is a coward's way out. This, again, this, you're playing the game of football. There's no, there's a code in here. I saw the same kid that I was talking about in Northern Illinois, I saw him the next year, the most polite kid I ever played against. We played against each other all year. There was no suspension or wanting him out of the game. Just like, y'all well, Y'all playing for free. Y'all ain't playing for no game checks. What? I mean, come on, man. Use, okay. use analogies that are analogous. One, one of the things that everybody says in the NFL all the time, it's a cliche, is that the best ability is availability. You hear that all the time. To me, in these situations, the best ability is responsibility. Take it. Own it. Accept it. Regardless of what happened, nothing will mitigate what you did. It won't. What you did was, in any other walk of life, criminal. So you need to stand there and you need to own that as a man and say, what I did was despicable, uh, reprehensible, and I will accept whatever punishment 
is doled out to me, I throw myself on the mercy of the commissioner of the NFL, and I apologize. And James Thrash. And there's Thrash, nothing else that will do that. The black arbitrator of this for the NFL, there's a reason they upheld the suspension indefinitely. They're not buying it. It's not no about one. buying Whitlock. It's about what Mark said. What I did, there is no excuse. But why I did it, let me give you two hours of talk. Why are you dry, guys trying to take that away from him? He's just telling you his emotional state of mind. Because at some writing. point, you raising kids, Marcellus, at some point, you don't want to hear the why. No, I do, actually. I always want to hear the why. You got you the wrong brother You're different than my parents. I, no, no, no. You're different than my parents. You know what? <laughs> the we why are. don't matter. My birth certificate doesn't say that. I got it. But guess what? I want to know what you did, but when we come home, why you do it? So I can correct that microprocessor so that next time when you're in that same what situation, you know why you should do something else. Why can't he testify on his own behalf? I, that's an that's American birthright, but not for Miles Garrett, because Look, what you did, everyone deserves a trial. Everyone deserves their state. And you're saying he doesn't because he did the worst of the indiscretions? I don't think he does because, one, I don't buy it. That's just me. Okay. But two, even if true, it doesn't justify his behavior, does so much harm to Mason Rudolph Aww. that it's just inappropriate. Look, Who broke the code I first? I, I, I don't I, know. I, I, what do you mean? I do. I, I think the cold was the guy slamming it. Everything that happened before the slamming, I see it every Sunday damn near. Mm -hmm. Everything that happened before he hit the dude with the helmet, you see it every it was, Sunday. It was, That's it, part it, of the cold. It was cold. part of every pile you were in. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and it's still and a first pile. domino that falls. And so, if that helmet yeah, comes well, off, I, if my helmet comes off and I'm, I'm getting I'm, into it, I'm tapping out. I'm like, I'm not going to run up on you because <laughs> I'm at a disadvantage. Well, yeah. Again, he made a dumb decision to run up on him, but he, it's not a... Still not just. It doesn't provoke. Yes. It's like, oh, okay, because really, I run up on you, I should slam you with the helmet. And if we're throwing culpability here, how about the NFL, who's made quarterbacks feel like they're untouchable? Mm. Like you don't get to play the game anymore, Right. There is some there is there is some responsibility on the uh, on the part of the NFL who has made the quarterback position a position that's non-contact. Yeah. And so when a guy goes to the ground like that, I can't tell you every guy I see, every game I call, if a guy goes to the ground, he's like looking for a flag. Like, can you believe this? The audacity of an NFL player to hit me, a quarterback? Right. So part of that, if you really want to say where does this the root start, it may just start with the way the league calls penalties. Very true. Mm. I, if we're going to be this easily triggered, if white people can just call it and we're going to be easily triggered and we're going we're gonna to start breaking the law because, oh, my God, they called us a name. We'll all be in jail. Mm. I'm not going. Oh, man. Coming up, Kawhi Leonard and Paul George finally took the court together last night. We'll tell you if they're now the best team in L.A. Next! Speak for Yourself is presented by...